Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Nick, also known as Touch Ninja, and today we have another technological unboxing for you guys. I just like doing these, and I think some of you guys like watching it, so I'm just going to keep doing uh, doing them. And we're going to go continue on the theme of hardware for your channel, if you're planning to start up a YouTube channel. Uh, there are two main things, I've already gone through this before, that you want to invest the majority of your money on, if you're planning to start up a YouTube channel. The first thing is a solid good quality capture card that records in high definition. Last week we unboxed the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme, which is one of the options you can possibly go with. Not the only one, mind you. Um, probably still will do that comparison video in the future for you guys. Uh, but the second thing that you should be investing in is a nice solid microphone. So uh, this microphone right here is a Blue Yeti. It is not hooked up right now uh, because I'm recording through my webcam. The reason why I didn't hook it up right now is because I plan to move it around and if I move it around then I may get some like popping noises. So yeah, this is a Blue Yeti. It is attached to a shock mount which is sold separately, attached to a pop filter which is kind of like it filters out popping noises like or if you're breathing into your microphone really hard. Uh, I find that that helps and then it's attached to a stand. So that is an option you, you can go with. I started off my channel when I started YouTube with a blue snowball, uh, this right here. Um, it is a pretty good microphone. Um, this one stopped working that well, so I upgraded it to a Yeti. This will usually range between the $80 to $100 uh, for a microphone. Had some decent quality to it. Um, but if I were you guys and you do have a little bit of extra money, I would just go straight to the Snowball, the, sorry, the Blue Yeti, because the quality of the audio is really significant. Uh, the Blue Yeti is about $150. Um, so it's about $50 more than the Snowball, but in my opinion the $50 is worth it. Uh, you get a lot of options to control the microphone. Uh, there's a mute button on board, and then there's some different options of what you're going, how you're planning to record and how it picks up the noise. So those are just some different sound levels or some different options that you have. So the box that we're going to be looking at today is the next step, which is the Blue Yeti Pro. So it, it's designed aesthetically almost exactly the same as the Blue Yeti, but the only difference is that it's black. It doesn't have that uh, MAC silver finish. Um, and it's a little bit more expensive. It's about $100 more than the Yeti. And I, can, I don't think that the sound quality will be as significant a jump from when you went to a snowball to a Yeti, um, but I can tell from what I hear there is still, you can still kind of hear the difference between the sound quality between a uh, Blue Yeti Pro and a Blue Yeti. It may not be warranted the extra hundred dollars, but you can probably still hear it, especially if you're really one of those intense audiophiles out there. Uh, but yeah, those are the three um, microphones I've used in the past. Um, most people on YouTube use a Blue Yeti. Uh, just the regular one, not the pro one. Um, but if you do, I'm doing this YouTube thing as my job, so I don't think that it's that big of a deal to invest a little bit more into your recording equipment, especially something as important as a microphone. Just because we, I am in the gameplay commentary business, it's kind of my job to talk to you guys. But yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, let's take a look at the box. As you can see, that's the what it looks like out front. Um, on the back. It shows you the different options of how you're going to record. So there's the stereo, the caroid, an omnidirectional, and a bi-directional. Uh, some other written stuff on the back. So let's open this up. You guys can take a look. Uh, I don't have my trusty camera person. She is not home right now. So uh, I'm doing this myself. Let's see here. And the reason why I decided that I needed to get a second microphone is because a lot of you guys probably know I'm in the process of building a live streaming PC. Uh, that being the case, I need a second microphone uh, to kind of sit on the desk where the live streaming PC is. It's going to kind of be a hassle to constantly unhook a microphone, bring it to another computer, etc. Et so, uh, it's, it's always nice to have an extra microphone on hand just in case 
you drop one or one decides to stop working and it poops out on you. So yeah. So there goes the cover box. We have another white box here, which is covered by tape. Let's see, I don't have my knife on either. I thought this would be an easy unboxing. Amateur status, what it is. Oh, come on. Amateur unboxing. There we go. So, what we got here? We got some wires. Uh, these look like audio cable wires just for the fact that one's red and one's white. So we have the USB power cable, which you will need to hook up to your computer. We'll slide this out. Be careful, I don't drop it. There we go. Okay. It was in a styrofoam box, so there we go. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. What the? Really in there? And there you go, finally. Oh god. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Uh, when it's in the face down position, my Yeti did come with a it did come with this stand that's right here. I just took it off to attach it to the shock mount, so it flips up like that, and that's what it looks like fully extended. It has the same options on the back as the as the Yeti. On the outside, it's exactly the same. It just comes down to uh, the sound quality of what you're gonna get. So. Um, I'm probably going to attach this black one to this shock mount just because this is the one I'll be using mostly when I'm recording and I'll be using this one when I'm doing my live streams. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I think the, I personally like the black finish more than the silver finish. Uh, but yeah, that is our first look at the Blue Yeti Pro uh, condenser microphone. Um, once again, it's on the higher end of the price range for a microphone that you may want to spend. Um, if you're going to spend one, I honestly would bypass the Snowball just because I found that the sound quality is in the Yeti is significantly better than the Snowball and it's only usually around an extra 50 bucks and I think the 50 bucks is worth it. So yeah, if you're in the microphone, uh, microphone these are your options. I highly suggest going with the Blue Yeti. If you are doing YouTube for a living like I am, then maybe you want to go with something a little bit more expensive with, a, with the, probably the best sound quality that you're going to get with a Blue Yeti Pro. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully these tech videos are kind of helpful and informative for all you people who want to start up your own YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big rating, and I will see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.